hope you're all having a good day today. Today is Thanksgiving, and I decided to come out here today real quick and make a quick update video on the truck really quickly. And first thing is I hope you enjoyed the uh, intro to this that I made well, a couple weeks ago now. And hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm probably going to use that for a little bit. And at the beginning of my videos, but anyway, if you can remember from the first video I made on this, it had a really bad transmission leak, and that's actually old. It's not leaking anymore. We fixed that. Yeah, we took it to a shop, and they changed the transmission gasket and the uh, for the pan, and it fixed it. It's not leaking anymore. So something stupid <laughs> and simple, and that's done. It's been fixed for over a week now, and not uh, a drop has come out of it, which is nice. And the other thing is, well, as you can see, this thing looks nice, obviously, from the pitch, like just first look. But I think I actually showed it in the last video. I believe I did. Um, there's a uh, hole in the in the bed. In the floor up in this corner you're not gonna be able to see it but there's a hole in, in the bed and what I've been trying to find lately is a new bed for it and we're, that's what we're gonna do is just I'm gonna try to find one I'm not really coming up with anything yet I'm just gonna look at a bunch of salvage yards and hopefully I find a good one in good shape that's not rotted out but anyway and um the other thing we found out, when we took it to get the, uh, the transmission leak fixed, we, um, the guy inspects vehicles too, but we didn't get it actually, like, inspected yet, because it's not going to be driven, but he just kind of looked over it, just tell us what it needed before, before that, just in case something went, it wouldn't pass, which it will, it's fine, it's not going to have a problem, but <clears throat> it needs new brakes, new rotors and new shocks all the way around which kind of sucks but it's the way it is just the way it goes sometimes so we're going to be getting all that stuff here soon and we're going to be doing that probably the first thing we're going to do though is we're going to get up underneath this thing and sand the whole frame down and undercoat it that way it doesn't rust anymore which it's in good shape the frame I think that's what pretty much all of it looks like. It's in good shape, but, you know, just to prevent it from getting worse and everything, while it's still solid, we're going to undercoat it. So, that's like a cost too much. The thing that's going to cost the most is the brakes and everything, but, you know, we got to do. And finding a new bed. <laughs> but like I said, I'm going to look at silver jars and everything, and... Hopefully I find one. Wish me luck. <laughs> but other than that, it's been good. We just ran it before today and it fired right up. I mean, it's 32 degrees in this building right now. So that's pretty much it. And it just needs like a couple more cosmetic things like up on the roof. You can't see much from there. Go up on. Might be able to... There, that needs <clears throat> to be, uh, you know, touched up a little bit. There's a little bit on the other side, but other than that, it's not too bad. Not as bad as, you know, it could be. And I'm thankful for that. But <clears throat> hopefully, um, it's a little bit dirty. That's okay. But hopefully, um, after that's done, I think it needs, where was it, you can't see it back there, but he said that need, that top of the uh, shackle holder needs to be, you know, rewilded and everything, but he'll do that for us, which is good, so, get that done, and that's pretty much all it needs, as far, that's all the more rust, like, you know, batter rust that's on this frame, that's just back here. So, that's good. And hopefully, 
I'm gonna try to record maybe doing some of the uh, framework on, and cleaning it up and everything, but I'm not really sure I'm gonna do those. I don't think I can get this camera under there because I think my tripod is too tall. <laughs> I do have a smaller tripod that I might try it with that, or just use the GoPro and set it on the floor, or clamp it to something, you know, try to figure out what's gonna work the best. But uh, as for today, that's all. And hopefully all you guys have a good Thanksgiving and eat lots of food and everything. I'm going to go back in the house now and enjoy that. I'm just going to come out really quick and make this while I have time. Today's like one of the only times I've had time, so might as well do it really quick. So hopefully you all have a good Thanksgiving and I'll talk to you later.